Greater Atlanta Christian School in Dawson County have essentially played for the Region 7 3A championship for the last three years. GAC has won them all with a close win in Norcross in 2018, a 23-20 win for the Spartans. This year, they'll tee it up in Dawsonville for the first time in two seasons, and the two teams are in the same situation. Some are probably wondering how, after all, the Tigers lost a ton of talent, and yet they sit at 5-1 and one and 2-0 and oh in the region. I knew we, we graduated 28 seniors last year and had a lot of new faces and very few that actually played varsity competition on the Friday. So uh, I knew there was going to be a learning curve, and you really don't know how they'll, they'll, they'll blend together. But probably the strength and chemistry of this football team is, is one, they really like each other. And two, they hold yourself accountable. And, and I think the ability to us to, to win those two games and to not give up was simply the fact that, uh, one, they're just playing football. And they haven't played enough to really know that when the game's over, it's over. They're just playing each play. And I think a lot of times if you focus on playing each play, great things happen. Uh, we play together, that's for sure. Um, I don't think anybody really uh, thought of us making it this far. Uh, just fought to be five and one. Uh, had a hiccup against Denmark. Could have won that one. Should have won that one. But uh, can't get it back now. GAC, on the other hand, is sitting in the same spot as usual, ranked number four in Class 3A and loaded with college recruits. Uh, Coach Hardy does a tremendous job. They're well coached, and again, like you said, they've got premier players that are going to be playing the next level. Tim's boy is a, a very well schooled quarterback, and he knows where to throw the football and they've got some receivers and go get it. But like you said, they're so balanced, you can't key on one aspect. Uh, you put people to stop the run, then you're gonna limit on the pass. And again, we've been susceptible to the long ball. And uh, it's no secret, I can't hide anything now to me video out there. But uh, again, our guys do compete, but uh, uh, we just got to keep getting better. But it still remains a huge game for both sides. Although the Spartans haven't had any issues over the years winning in Dawsonville. They're 3-1 and one and beat the Tigers 42-7 in 2016 and lead the all-time series 8-1. Uh, how big is this game to you? Uh, it's very big. I've only beat GAC once and all the athletic events I've attended. and There's nothing more I'd like to beat in football than. They're always really good and you can't put anything down against them. They execute very well, so if we execute very well, we can compete, and I think we have a pretty good chance. If the Tigers want to have any success against GAC, they'll have to limit the big plays, especially out of the backfield. The Spartans like to run the football with Georgia Southern commit Tyler Bride. Bride has rushed for 755 yards and 11 touchdowns. Well, we're going to have to have, you know, we're going to have, to have good run fits. So again, he's the type of guy that'll, he'll, uh, if you have everything cut up where he's trying to run, he'll slice back on you. And uh, so we got to stay home and play fundamental football. But we're really going to have to to build our triangles around him, where uh, we have three people trying to go around to to make the tackle. So uh, if we can get to our area and get him get him stopped before we get started, then that opportunity of of um, him getting into our second level is preventing a big play. He's going to get some yards, uh, but we got to prevent those long runs that that uh, end up being a touchdown. But the Tigers have some weapons too. Sophomore quarterback Zach Holtzclaw has emerged as a leader and has passed for 977 yards and 10 touchdowns. You seem to be taking it over real well. How's that been for you? It's it's an honor, especially since Maxwell's been here program has been on an uphill climb and right now our goal is to win region and it's, it's going that way right now. He's worked hard to to uh, uh, to get to this point. I think the probably his biggest attribute is he's so humble. I mean he he's there for his teammates. He'll do whatever he can. He doesn't look for individual or his his success. He's looking to just run the system, stay within the system and he doesn't try to do too much. And uh, he try and he, obviously he's doing a good job so far this season taking care of the football. Senior running back Sean Thomas and junior back Isaiah Grindle have given the Tigers a spark out of the backfield, combining for over 660 yards of offense and 10 touchdowns. Uh, they just run hard. They're, they run hard, they see the field, they, and, uh, and again, we do try to spread it around because if we become one-dimensional and the defense has a chance to lock in on us, 
uh, you know, we're going to be all athleted. So we've done a good job trying to keep the balance and and uh, uh, make them play the whole field and uh, had some success doing it. Regardless of the hype, Maxwell believes the kicking game and stopping the big plays are keys to a win tonight. For us, this one come down to our special team's got to be, which has been a, a big part of our program with Coach Cox leading our special teams. And uh, the strength of that is we've made some big plays and, and kickoff returns and, and uh, doing okay on all aspects of it. So our special teams and us taking care of the football and preventing the big play would be the three factors, I think, that will allow us to compete. You can follow all of the area's action on the Friday game night page on accesswdun.com and get up to date before the action starts with the Hayes family of dealerships FGN tailgate show with Caleb Hutchins starting at 6 p.m. live on WDUM. And follow the area's contest with updates throughout the night on the Friday game night Twitter page at Friday game night. For Friday game night, I'm Bo Wilson.